This is the 2020 Tesla Model Y dual motor long range towing test. So what I have here is an 18 foot aluminum flatbed trailer with a 2018 Polaris Ranger crew on the back of that. It has a full cab with uh, doors and windows that roll up and down, adds a little weight there. Um, I have towed this package one time before I think I am a little bit overloaded, but just barely. My towing capacity is 3,500 pounds. Um, I do have a brake controller on here, and everything's fully charged and ready to go. So we'll start the trip. I'm headed to Grass Valley, Oregon from Terrebonne, Oregon. And when we're inside the vehicle, I'll show you the route. Just a quick little walk around before we get going to show what we have going on. So the Model Y, has the original set of tires, just about a little over 13,000 miles. The Ranger has been with me for two years. Flatbed trailer has a nose cone on it that helps protect the windshield. I got it for the Model Y so I could tow it behind the motorhome protect its windshield it has a toolbox added without those extra parts it's supposed to weigh right around 1500 pounds could be a little more with those pieces on there I have a Kurt brake controller it's a Bluetooth brake controller when I'm inside I'll show you that but it just works through your phone okay we're inside the vehicle so just to get an idea of what we're looking at for distances I'm at 301 miles of range not a hundred percent charged I was all but the last little bit takes forever at the very end of the battery, so usually not worth waiting. That's my distance though, 94 miles. With this load, that's going to be, I'm going to be pushing it, but it'll make it. And just to look there, the uh, Kurt trailer brake control application. That is for the Bluetooth brake controller. So I do have full trailer brakes. It's a beautiful day, and we're off. All right, so we are approaching Cow Canyon. You can see my usage right there. It's 609, 610 watt hours per mile. I've pulled this grade once before, and we'll see what it does. But it's going to be pretty crazy when you look at the miles we're at right now as we start the grade. This is the start of Cow Canyon and I think it's a six mile grade to the top. Last time I did this the car had no problem holding 65 miles an hour and actually wanting to go substantially faster. So we are going to pull this grade Willowdale on the way to Shanico. Okay, so we're at the top of Cow Canyon. Wanted to show you some usage here kind of off the charts as you can see it pegs out there and looking down below our watt hours per mile jumped up to 714 and you can see how much our range dropped on that hill run pretty crazy but the power was there all day long 65 miles an hour is what I kept it at the whole way um, just wanted to make sure that I didn't go any faster because I know beyond that would be uh, scratching to make it to our final destination. Okay, so we're coming up on Shanico right now. Just pulled all the hills. Everything's downhill from here to Grass Valley. You can see from the charts, we lost a lot of energy from the bottom of Cow Canyon to the top of the Shanico Hill. But we should be good from here. Only have 93 miles of range left. Um, but we're 
about 25 miles away. Here's a little ghost town of Shanico. Used to be the wool port of the Western world. Neat little town. Not much left here though. We're arriving at Kent, Oregon. As you can see, we're down to 60 miles of range. 14 miles left to go. I see, as I've towed with this, that worst case scenario, you're getting one mile for every four miles rated when you're towing hard hills. When you're an average driving 60, 65 flat, it's one to three or better. And you can see my watts per mile are down to 685. They're up in the 720 range. So, it's a nice little town out here in Sherman County. Has a post office and a First Baptist Church and a grain silo. Cell phone tower. That's about it. When I was a kid, there was an excellent restaurant, barbecue restaurant right here for ribs, Montana Pete's. He made the best ribs I've ever had. But that was about 20 years ago. Good old Kent, Oregon. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Out here between Kent and Grass Valley, about halfway between, there's an old homestead here. The house is no longer there. That was where the Hatrips were. My Uncle Kenny and Aunt Marie and their family. And this is all leading up to Von Borstel Road and a bunch of the land that the Von Borstels farm out here, farm and ranch. It's where we settled in the 1880s. It's all dry land wheat out here, and barley. Beautiful open country. There'd generally be really nice views of the Cascades to see while we're out driving, but it's a little smoky from those fires in California. There's Von Borstel Road. Country roads take me home. Coming into Grass Valley, Oregon. Our final destination. The old grain elevators. Twenty-five miles of range remaining. It's the old Grass Valley H House grain elevator. I used to work there when I was a young man. the operations here for a bit, siloing those, the wheat and barley. This is the scale house. Gonna be going there to get a weight on everything. Okay, we are on the scale at 9,220 pounds. The end of the trip, 94.2 miles, 664 watt hours per mile. We use 63 kilowatts of energy. Now we'll pull forward and get the weight of just the trailer. All right, that shows what we have, 4,260 pounds. I'm totally disconnected. Some people think you can get the weight by leaving it on the ball and measuring it that way. You really can't. You have to take it off and have all the weight resting on the jack stand because you do put weight on the tongue, usually about three to 500 pounds distributed to the rear tires of the vehicle. So if you don't disconnect, you don't get an accurate number there. There you 
have it. All right, it's here for the night, charging till the hunt tomorrow. Here at my parents' house in Grass Valley, I installed a charger. So it's working. All right, we're getting ready the morning of deer hunting season. Here's the Tesla for its first hunting adventures. We'll be out looking for mule deer today with the ranger. It's a little hazy today. He has little eye guards. Well, he's actually a legit little three pointer. Yeah. And the front one does have little eye guards. Yeah. Tesla hunting, but in town, up in Grass Valley. Well, we can't take the four point that's staring us in the eye. I bet I could wrestle him. Yep. You want to see it? No. <laughs>